Good morning and hello, Wish Farms berry lovers. We are coming to you live from one of our strawberry farms in Plant City, Florida. As you might know, our area has been experiencing some frigid temperatures over the last couple of days. And last night and into this morning, we saw it get as low as 28 degrees. And a lot of strawberry lovers are out there might be concerned. You're wondering how the berries are faring in this weather. Do not fear. We are very lucky to have some of the hardest working growers in the business. They've been staying up around the clock, essentially pulling all-nighters to ensure the crops stay healthy so we can bring you some beautiful sweet berries. Um, if you have any questions as you go along, please feel free to, to uh, ask them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. So this morning we're very lucky. We're joined by one of our valued members of our team here at Wish Farms. That's Chuck Hollenkamp, he's our Senior Grower Relations Manager, and Chuck's been with our company for over 30 years, and he has a wealth of knowledge to share with us as we uh, are very chilly out here in the fields. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Chuck. Um, so, if you can zoom in, Jesse, on, on some of the plants here, um, I'm looking at a coating of ice on strawberry plants. now. Now, um, people are wondering, you know, why are we coating what water? Water. <laughs> why are we coating the plants in a uh, layer of ice? You know, to the average person out there, it, it appears counterproductive. So, Chuck, can you tell us a little bit more about that? The ice provides a uh, an igloo effect. In, in essence, we, we coat the whole plant and the berry and the bloom. We're trying to save the bloom for the future uh, February crop. Uh, the igloo effect uh, means the outside can be any temperature it needs to be, but the inside in the ice will be remain at 32. And that's the idea of um, covering the entire plant with, uh, with water okay. and ice. So if there's any wind that, wind that happens, um, you know, what kind of factor does the wind play in, uh, in all this? Well, the wind can be your enemy or it can be your friend. It, the fact that uh, if the wind stays up, it will keep the temperatures a little higher. If you got plenty of wind at night, you won't get quite as cold. But if you're going to get cold anyway, then the wind is your enemy because the wind will blow the blow the sprinkler uh, uh, water formations in different directions, and you won't have the uh, even coverage that you will that you have right now. Because right now we have no wind. That's good. So how does this cold weather affect the uh, ripening process and the quality? Well, it slows the ripening process down considerably. What it does though, the berry will stay on the bush longer before you can pick it because it isn't red yet. That increases the sugar level. So the longer on the bush, the, the higher the sugar level or the higher the bricks as we say. Okay. So we've talked about the less than ideal temperatures for strawberry farming. What exactly are your ideal temperatures for Florida strawberry farming then? I really think 75 to 78 degrees in the afternoon sunshine um, is, is perfect. At night, 55 to 56, 57 degrees is very, very good nighttime temperatures. So I think this farm uses um, a combination of, of uh, overhead irrigation that we're seeing right now and also they, they use tarp covers as well. They have right? a small amount of ground cover in the back of the farm, which we're, we can almost see back there, but you can't quite see it. But it's ground cover, and uh, ground cover, what, what, it, what it says it is, it's uh, we cover the entire field, and the temperatures can't get to it, but we don't have to water it either. It just stays, uh, it stays well above the, the freezing temperatures. Okay. So um, what do you see for the next, few days. What's the berry forecast looking like? Uh, uh, as far as the temperatures are concerned, one more cold night. But tonight will be a cold night yet. We may or may not water tonight. And then after that, we'll probably be um, um, in good shape for the rest of the week. Next week, they say 70s, perfect weather for us. Okay. We'll be in good shape after, after tonight, we'll be in good shape. All right, do we have any questions from the audience there? Yes, no. Well, um, you know, thanks again, Chuck, and we just want to say a big thank you to all of our Wish Farms growers. Uh, they work around the clock hard bringing you some sweet, delicious strawberries, and we just want to thank them for their hard work and, and support. So. We'll leave you with a few 
few final shots from the strawberry field. We're dodging the sprinklers. on the plant there. That's all. Protecting the crops. Yeah. Yeah. You saw it with ice. When ice is falling off, you get a look at Waterproof jackets. <laughs> 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 